Hello and welcome to this special show. Now, 2020 was an unprecedented year spent mostly at home. Living in close proximity gained appreciation for all of us of how one's roles at offices and homes have come around to a new level of understanding. A year of realization of health, safety and financial uncertainty. With work life crossing into the contours of personal life, women, the multitasker demographic, donned the onus of putting it all together, emerging stronger. But how did urban Indian women react to these uncertain times financially? Are they anxious? Do they feel protected? India Protection Quotient 3.0, conducted by Max Life Insurance in association with Kantar, reflected on how women are progressing towards financial protection against uncertainties, their security levels and preparedness. Joining me is Mr. Alok Pan, Director and Chief Marketing Officer of Max Life Insurance Company, Soumya Mohanty, Managing Director and CCO, Kantar South Asia, also Mandra Bedi, actor and fitness enthusiast, and Satish Krishnamurti, EVP and Head, Private Premium Banking and Third Party Products, Access Bank. Mr. Bhan, in our previous episode, we saw how IPQ has improved from 35 to 39 with increased awareness and ownership. However, due to the unprecedented times, people are feeling more insecure. On the eve of Women's Day, how do you think women are reacting to this? Can you share some insights on how urban Indian women are behaving in these times and their line of action for financial uncertainties? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Sonia. At first, uh, congratulations to you, Soumya, and to, Ma to Mandira with respect to the International Women's Day. Uh, it's a privilege to be here with, uh, with the three of you. And I think uh, you're right. I mean, the previous year of 2020 has been unprecedented, challenging, and what have you. Mm -hmm. uh, all of us have learned various new things, and things have kind of evolved as we move on. We have seen overall that the India Protection Quotient has increased from 35 to 39. Mm -hmm. And therefore, not only men, but even women have, as expected, increased their protection quotient. Uh, the women's protection quotient has gone from 33 to 36. Mm -hmm. I'll be a little bit behind that overall and of men. But if I were to cut the sliver and see working women between uh, in the women cohort, you have seen, we have seen that working women's uh, India protection quotient has increased from 34 to 39, mm -hmm. which is pretty much as much as much as the men. So that's that's a great uh, right. you know news for all of us, and I believe that it is the way forward. I also believe that uh, you know we also seen the survey that in the knowledge index or the awareness about life insurance for working women, we have seen a very very uh, decent shift. Mm -hmm. uh, going all the way up to 55 uh, versus uh, overall also being 55 and just a dash away from men at 57. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's, a, that's a very interesting uh, revelation and I think it augurs well for the industry because I believe at least, at least we believe uh, also that life insurance as a category is a category which is dependent, which is about families and what taking care of families, love for the family, etc. Who better? in the family to anchor the love and care of the family other than the women. So it goes without doubt that if, we fo if, the, if the focus stays on women, we will see a much better uh, you know, take up of India's protection. And I think that's where this thing becomes very critical. If we are able to protect and increase awareness of women, we will increase awareness and protection of, of a family and I believe a uh, family protected results in a nation protected. So very, we are very pleased to see that women are taking on these responsibilities. Absolutely. Not only working women, but there's growth. So yeah, we see a good, good insight over here. No, absolutely. And I think uh, all of us would agree. I mean, I, of course, I'm biased. I always think women are better financial planners uh, uh, for sure. And thank you for your wishes. <laughs> but of course, we also celebrate Women's Day 365 days of the year. So thank you for this special day as well. But uh, Ms. Mohanty, Mr. Bhan mentioned that women are getting more aware when it comes to life insurance. But the age-old perception of uh, male members being the primary breadwinner of the family, does that still remain or has a significant shift in mentality also happened? Yeah, that's, that's, that's a very interesting uh, question, uh, Sonia. In fact, uh, if you look at IPQ, IPQ among women has gone up. 
and it has gone up fundamentally on the back of increase in awareness both of life insurance and of term insurance especially among working women but when it comes to ownership of uh, term insurance it still lags i mean it's still on the lower side so if you look at uh, awareness and i'm specifically talking about working women now awareness has gone up by 13 percentage points that's a significant jump but when and it's almost at par with overall but when it comes to ownership uh, it has improved from 23 to 27 percent but it is still uh, uh, behind uh, the level of ownership that men have which is around 30 percent so yes um, women are recognizing their importance in the whole process of being financially prepared uh, they are becoming uh, more significant decision makers but when it comes to protecting themselves there is still some distance to go uh, joining us also now is Mandra Bedi. Mandra, uh, great to have you in the show and congratulations. You've got a new member in your family as well. Indeed I do. I have a new member in my family. She's a little four-year-old girl called Tara mm -hmm. and uh, she's already showing signs of being a very feisty, independent and strong young woman. Wonderful. She's, so she's taken after her mother there uh, definitely but uh, just to say that when we've seen in this, uh, uh, in this survey, IPQ uh, 3.0 shows that the protection quotient of working women has increased and that working women want to feel as equally secure and feel equally secure as men in terms of financial protection. As a working mom of two kids now, have you, how have you seen that in your personal experience? Well, um, as uh, Alok said a little while ago, you know, the woman is the anchor of the family. She's the one who holds everything together. And, you know, you in the introduction also said that, you know, we are, we are great at multitasking. We are way ahead of what men can do uh, because we take care of the needs of um, our families, our children, our husbands, um, our parents and our in-laws along with our career. Mm -hmm. So what we can do, um, men are very far behind that. Um, but having said that, you know, the health of the family is very important and health being the, you know, the, the person in control of the nutrition, uh, being uh, the person who's really interested in fitness, I've taken care of the health uh, aspect of the family um, as well. And, you know, we all met about a year ago and we were talking about um, uh, IPQ 2.0. Mm -hmm. And at that time, had you said, had you said, you know, over the next one year or the next couple of months, we are all going to be sitting indoors we're all going to be uh, sort of uh, confined to our homes uh, no one would ever believe you mm -hmm. but this entire pandemic this lockdown this time at home with families has taught me a lot and um, I have to say I'm going to share with you what I've learned and how I've evolved and how I've changed over this last little while um, I will say this that um, what this pandemic what this lockdown has taught me is to take nothing for granted the small little things we used to take for granted, stepping out of the house, meeting friends, having groceries at our beck and call, never take anything for granted. That's one. Number two would be, um, thoda hai, thode ki zarurat hai. That's one thing I've learned in the, uh, in the lockdown. We, we indulge ourselves. We think we need so many things when we don't. This, this time at home has taught us to just be satisfied with the little we have. Honestly, I believe that. Thoda hai, thode ki zurut hai. And that's happened because of the lockdown. I practice gratitude every day. And the third thing is, you know, it is really important to be prepared for a rainy day because this last one year was that rainy day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, I, I have to say this, the way I was, the way I was invested when we spoke last year, when we talked at IPQ 2.0, vis-a-vis uh, -vis, vis -vis the way I'm invested now, it's different Absolutely. because uh, there was a time when I'd invest in a certain way and now I'm thinking about how I want my family to be prepared for that rainy day. We, we are the difference for our loved ones mm -hmm. because, um, uh, you know, we need to um, have planned financially, made sure there's money for, you know, adverse situations oh, and this is what this entire last one year has been about. No, of course, I mean, so many people believe that, you know, you should plan only for the best, but you have to plan for the best and prepare for the worst. And I think that really came to stark uh, contrast yes. for all of us in so many different ways. It was wonderful. We all sat around the table last year, but it's great to actually be have 
been able to have done this survey and to discuss the learnings actually of the last one year as well. So, Soumya Mahanti, if I could bring you in here, what do you think drives a working woman, especially in metros with a protection index for working women is at 45, that's even higher than that of men in a similar slab? That's a, that's a very interesting thing that uh, uh, you have uh, picked up, Sonia. There is a significant difference across women, across the three town classes, and that's one of the most interesting insights that uh, we have picked up. So as I've already said, women in general, the IPQ index of women have gone up and women are more financially conscious. But when it comes to metro women, they are actually almost leagues ahead of the others. Their IPQ index at 45 is one of the highest across all segments. And uh, but, but it's significantly different from their uh, sisters in tier one and tier two towns. So if you look at uh, uh, tier two, in contrast, uh, the IPQ of working women is at 34 and it has actually not improved unlike the metro woman where it has gone up from 37 to 45 and when it comes to ownership or penetration of term insurance these differences are even more significant so the the, the numbers and i'm just going to read out the numbers it, it goes from 29 percent among metro women to uh, 22 percent among tier one to 12 percent among tier two that's the kind of gap that we are talking about so yes women are more financially conscious they are more evolved but when it comes to tier one and tier two there is still some work to be done in creating awareness about life insurance and protection for themselves. Office ke kapde. Important presentation. Important school presentation hai. Ine bharosa hai aap pe. Aur aapka bharosa. Max Life Insurance ke 99.22% claims paid ratio pe. India ke bharose ka number. Max Life Insurance. Aam. Ye truck. Kyo? Ladkiya truck nahi chala sakti. Nee nee. पहली बार देख रहा हूँ ना प्लान तो लॉ प्रैक्टिस करने का था और बदलना पड़ा वो हस्बैंड सॉरी अभी या तो पास्ट को पकड़ के बैठे रहो या फ्यूचर देखो कॉलेज में है दोनों लक वो तो खुद बनानी पड़ती है खाकोले और उड़ चले ऐसा ही आएगा ना प्रॉमिस सिर्फ एक्सपर्ट्स के प्रॉमिस से इंश्योरेंस मिलती है जैसे ड्यूलक्स इंश्योरेंस अगर ड्यूलक्स पेंट से ना मिले परफेक्ट कलर फिनिश और कवरेज तो हम पेंट रिप्लेस करेंगे इट्स अ प्रॉमिस घर देखने के लिए आए बायर या टेनेंट ढूंढने के लिए आप मेहनत तो करोगे ही तो करो करो और फिर सर्च खत्म करो हाउसिंग डॉट कॉम पे लिस्ट करके यहाँ सर्च खत्म करो डाउनलोड ना Seven women bike riders ride their bikes for 1,600 kilometers with one aim to raise awareness about malnutrition in mothers and children. Flight or hotel booking time compare karte ho na? To term life insurance bina compare kiye kaise le sakte ho? policybazaar.com पे 15 से ज्यादा कंपनीज का टर्म लाइफ इंश्योरेंस कंपेयर करके पैसे बचाइए हाउ इंपॉर्टेंट इज द रोल प्ले बाय वी वर्क इन दिस वर्क स्पेस एवोल्यूशन वी हैव अ टीम ऑफ लीडर्स जॉइनिंग अस फ्रॉम वी वर्क हाय माय नेम इज करण रेडवानी एंड आई एम द सीईओ ऑफ वी वर्क इंडिया माय नेम इज आदनो आई एम हेड ऑफ प्रोडक्ट रियल एस्टेट एंड प्रोक्योरमेंट फॉर वी वर्क इंडिया माय नेम इज प्रीति शेट्टी आई एम द हेड ऑफ पीपल एंड वी वर्क इंडिया वी आर एक्साइटेड टू टेक यू थ्रू आवर जर्नी व्हाट अ स्पेशल शो बैक टू वर्क विद वी वर्क Only on NDTV 24/7. Ooh, New Renault Kyger. 
starts at rupees 5.45 lakh. इन्हें भरोसा है आप पे और आपका भरोसा मैक्स लाइफ इंश्योरेंस के 99.22 परसेंट क्लेम स्पीड रेशियो पे इंडिया के भरोसे का नंबर मैक्स लाइफ इंश्योरेंस मंदरा वेल फ्रॉम दिलवाले दुल्हनिया ले जाएंगे टू बीइंग वन ऑफ द फर्स्ट वुमेन टू बी इन द क्रिकेट कमेंट्री बॉक्स टू revolutionizing how we look at daily fitness how do you see the evolution of women do you feel women undervalue themselves when it comes to financial decision making you know i started my, my career with a show called shanti mm -hmm. uh, 25 years ago <laughs> yes and shanti was this very strong independent bold woman and uh, i'd have to say she was a woman before her time Mm-hmm. but over the years um lots has changed over these last 25 years the way women have been portrayed on television and media has changed also um the fact that there are many more shantis uh in the world now uh that's the biggest change there's so many more women who've joined the workforce uh some of them are starting up and some of them have even become the primary breadwinners of their families so I mean that having happened uh they definitely have a seat on the table mm -hmm. they definitely need to be a part of the decision making process as far as um the health of the family is concerned the wealth of the family is concerned so i have to say this that um i am pretty much the decision maker as far as the the financial decisions are concerned and that's happened over the last little bit and uh i think that's happening with a lot of families and a lot of uh, women now the thing is that when you said about being undervalued in all of this we may be career people we may be these strong uh, uh, you know uh, women in our businesses in in what we do but yet we put our families first mm -hmm. yet we put our in-laws first our parents first our children first and we do tend to, we we tend to tend to our needs later so yes we as women uh, tend to undervalue ourselves and we need to sort of realize what we bring to the table right. and we we need to also realize what our real value is absolutely madhra couldn't agree more there but uh, just going across now to mr satish krishnamurthy also for his perspective uh, mr krishnamurthy uh, just to bring you in for your perspective what is your view in terms of women gaining financial independence how do big financial engines like banks help different segments especially women adopt financial planning tools like life insurance india as uh, as a country has always uh, held women at the highest esteem as uh, we all know women comprise 49% of our country's population if you ask the question of these women how many are participating in economic creation both in the formal sector and in the informal sector today roughly 25% of all india's workforce are women and 18% of gdp is being contributed by women in india so you will all agree with me that the opportunity for women to really help india get to that 5 trillion dollar mark is massive so i think uh, one of the most powerful uh, forces which is going to transform india is the participation of women more and more uh in the economic build out it therefore becomes very incumbent that women are also financially very savvy decisions that women take need to be uh very well thought through so the root of this uh, thinking will depend on them understanding the entire gamut of financial products so uh banks like axis we have spent a lot of time in custom designing products which are exclusively for women we have for example a women savings account which caters to the needs of the modern uh, women in india we also 
uh, thing that women understand intuitively the need for protecting their family. I think it is right in their DNA. So the most powerful products that are available, for example, in the life insurance space, whether it is term or endowment or anything else that, uh, you know, that individual will find it most suitable, uh, these products are available. And I think uh, banks therefore play a very, very important role in bringing this awareness and the ability for women to buy into these products across the length and breadth of the country. Uh, Ms. Mohanty, uh, Mandra mentioned her experience as a fitness influencer and health being one of the key pillars of her feeling financially secured. What does IPQ 3.0 tell us about people's attitudes towards proactive health and financial planning? Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's a really valid point. And uh, health and wellness in general has gone up. Uh, I mean, as a priority has gone up, not just among women, among women and men. And you see that. You see that in the desire to buy more immunity products, in the desire to uh, adopt new fitness regimes. And it's, it's, it's all pervasive. So when we look at health and wellness as a priority, it's in fact gone up from 78 to 81%. It was always a priority. The pandemic has pretty much sort of reinforced that priority. What has also happened among women particularly is that uh, they are also now saving for uncertainties of life. They are saving for uncertainties due to death, uncertainties due to medical emergencies. So all kinds of uncertainties, they are more aware of those uncertainties. And, um, and what that has led to is that uh, a critical illness uh, rider uh, has actually gone up at an overall level from whereas earlier it used to be one in 10, now it is one in four. Uh, uh, people buying critical illness rider. So health and wellness is here to stay. Uh, protection is here to stay. And um, uh, the form it takes or the shape it takes is something that we will see as uh, we sort of come out from the pandemic and go towards normalcy. Uh, Mandira, you follow a very strict regimen for yourself as well as the family. But do you think COVID-19 has also made you realize that health consciousness among us needs to be raised even further? What are the steps that you have taken? This entire 2020, this entire year gone by has stressed on that more than ever. You know, there's so much stress on now uh, taking care of ourselves, building our immunity, getting healthier. That's how we can, that's how we can, you know, stay away from the disease. That's how we can stay okay. Mm -hmm. You know, over this last one year, so many people fell off the fitness wagon as far as, uh, you know, not going to gyms. Those are just excuses. Um, but, you know, I think more than ever I, I i made sure that i kept the fitness regime going i did a lot of um, no equipment exercises i learned a lot on the internet uh, the technolo technology has so much to offer uh, in terms of apps in terms of um, you know uh, exercises and stuff that you can learn on social media so i kept my i you know i i upped my quotient as far as uh, fitness was concerned because m now more than ever it is needed mm -hmm. so um, i mean on the one hand, it's fitness. On the one hand, it's uh, taking care of your health with exercise. On the other hand, it's nutrition. But good health has a third and most important aspect, I think, and that is mental wellness. And that mental wellness and that uh, mental peace can come when you prepare yourself financially. You know, So I think uh, taking care of one's health, yes, very important. Eating the right things, also super important. But for that mental wellness, Taking care of yourselves financially is of prime importance because you need to be prepared for the future for your loved ones. You are the difference. I would say that it's very important to be fit, be prepared to be happy. Thanks, Mandra. You have certainly inspired us to keep health as a key priority. Uh, Mr. Bhan, your final thoughts about driving conversations with women about life insurance and improving their protection index. How do you plan on driving these effectively? Yeah, I think Mandara has inspired all of us. In fact, Mandara paces your 10,000 feet. Last time and last even we discussed, I have moved to 15,000 steps per day and I think I'm, I've upped my quotient as well. But that aside, wow, uh, that's amazing. your point, Sonia, I think uh, I very well, <laughs> yeah, either I thought at least my women in my family recognize that part. Hopefully through this medium they will. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, as I said earlier, Women are the anchors of the society. I, I think the life insurance industry may have missed a trick in the last 20 years at least mm -hmm. of trying to focus on only the, the breadwinner as in the man 
not only have the women come into the breadwinning side as Mandara spoke about, but frankly, they control the entire family, the family's well-being, family's understanding. And I believe that if, if, an, if you protect a woman, a lady is protected financially, her family gets protected automatically because she thinks family. Mm -hmm. And once a family is protected, India gets protected. So the nation gets protected. And therefore, women, whether working or not working, need to really understand their real value through all that they bring to the family, whether it is peace of mind, it is feeling of security and feeling of comfort. I mean, we can keep on talking about this, but I think they are the anchors for a product like life insurance, where the focus of the product is love and family. So who better, as I said earlier, than women? We have to keep on increasing the conversations, get them into the mainstream, grow their awareness, and like Mandira said, on multitasking, you can't beat women. And I think we should give, we should all focus towards, uh, towards further giving more, uh, you know, knowledge and awareness to the women folk. Indian India will feel far more protected. Hashtag protect India. Well, a fascinating conversation with all my different guests. Thank you very much for your perspectives and for joining us on this show. Thank you. Thank you.